go, Reggie, get with the Bulls. And what were the Bulls like in the, in the late 70s? It was an amazing thing. You played for five coaches? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you, would bring, you would bring that up. Uh, yeah. The yeah. Bulls weren't a really well-run organization until Michael no, Jordan got there, no, right? You, you, yeah, well, you used to live there, so you know. Uh, it, w- listen, I had five coaches. I had six coaches in five years. Wow. That's, that's where my career started off. Um, you know, Arthur Wirtz was the owner of the team at the time, and, you know, he was a hockey guy. He, you know, our team, back in those days, we were a tax shelter. You know, that's that's where that's how he hid his money. That's what he did as you know, right. We were a write off. Um, and so it was run that way. And it, and it really showed in in the box office. And obviously, when Ryan Storff took over and Michael came and, you know, it became a different story. I missed playing with Michael Jordan by 15 minutes, by the way. How about that one? That's crazy. Oh, all right, right? Tell that story. Well, you, you know, the, the, you, you your trade deadline is in February. And at February at a certain time. And obviously I was going through, you know, problems with Kevin Lockery at that time. And they wanted to trade me. Um, and it was 15 minutes before the deadline where they couldn't have traded me. And they drafted Michael Jordan the next next year in that draft. I could have been Paxton. I could have been Kerr. You know, I could have been any of those guys. It, it, you know, <laughs> I'd be sitting here with my hand, you know, it rings. I'd be like Coop, I'd be like three or four rings. I'd be just like Coop. <laughs> sit back and sit back and talk stuff. But Reggie, Greg Hodges. It's, it's like you said. Greg Hodges, yeah, you're right. It's like you said, though, uh, you were put in the position because I think had you been with him, you wouldn't have been able to be the player you became. I mean, well, you know, I, ask- you know I don't know, Coop. You know, you've been a different listen, player. You've been a different boy. Well, yeah. Listen, you know, you would have been different. And, I, and I, you know, when you watch the, 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 the show that, that they did, the documentary that they did, um, what's it called? Um, the, the last the, dance, last, last dance. dance this summer when you saw that, you know, I, I and, you know, I, I work on Sirius XM radio, so I do a lot of shows. And, and there's always this conversation going on about that when it came out and how all the guys were griping and bitching about what, you know, they, they didn't get enough time. They didn't they didn't get enough props from Michael. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> just just hold your nose, close your mouth and. And just suffocate because that's exactly where your career would have been had you not played with Michael Jordan. So <laughs> shut up, you know. Right. Don't tell me about he didn't praise me enough. He didn't pat me on my back enough. What, 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 are you kidding me? 